I'm Matt Dellier. I'm the founder of Endless. So you're teaching kids how to code by essentially having semi-completed games and encouraging them to hack them or change the code internally to make them win. It's kind of a lot like Game Genie. That's exactly right. The whole idea, so actually the whole idea came from back in the day, people, our engineers, had learned to code by hacking their video games. Like so many people have learned to code by doing that. So the whole idea was, well, what if we made games? So the whole idea was that they could hack it, they were meant to be hacked. You could go in and tinker with everything you wanted. So it was from those roots that we that we, we were founded. And, that, and that's a great place to pull from because, I mean, one of the most successful coders of all time, Tim Sweeney, that's how he, he modded games, and then he became one of the world's biggest game developers. Minecraft is probably the single biggest path for kids to learn to code. Why? Because kids wanted to mod, mod Minecraft. Right. That's crazy. And then on top of, uh, you guys are all, you're a very advocate for open source. You want your, your, uh, your OS is in Linux. So how are you guys planning on supporting that community and working with them to help them uh, you know, modify it or just work with it? Yeah, so our, our roots are in building an operating system for kids in emerging markets, basically educational technology. We realized that kids there wanted to play games. We realized that kids here wanted to play games and both of those to learn. And so community, the, in particularly the Endless Mission, uh, is basically the whole idea is you can hack your games, you can create your games, you can share them, and then what you can actually do is take community generated games and then you can hack those. So the whole idea is you sort of end up with this crescendoing community where you sort of, you know, effectively it starts with the premise that you can build upon what other people have done. And so right now you're supported on PC and iOS? We have PC, different games. So we have a, a collection of games. So different games are available on different platforms. We basically want everything to be available wherever possible. So we have stuff on iOS. Uh, if you go look at the different Terminal 2 games, we have the Endless Mission, which is on Steam, so you can go get that on PC. And then we have an operating system called Endless OS, which runs Hack, and the Hack uh, platform is basically digging your hands into the operating system itself using all of that open source technology. I know this is a weird question, but like, could you eventually maybe make it work, because Xbox has keyboard and mouse support, could you eventually make it work for consoles, like mainstream consoles like PS4 and Xbox? We thought about it, it's a lot of work, and we want it to be everywhere, so who knows, eventually maybe. I feel like it could work as like a mini game compilation, like, you know, where it doesn't go too deep, but just, you know, touches the the, the, the top of the water, and then you can go, go on the PC to learn more. Yeah, exactly, and that's a lot of what we've done with iOS. Like, you can use the simpler versions, and then you can go out. There's also the ability, because you can build games in the Endless Mission, one of the things we're thinking about building is you can build um, for other platforms. So you use the PC to be able to spread it. But a lot of this stuff, it's, you know, we want the community engagement to help us shape uh, where we take the product. I also think it's incredibly important because we're living in a digital age now where it's automation and AI and programming is a major a job job drive. You know, I mean, you know, these jobs like truck drivers, UPS drivers, like that's going to be automated 30 years from now. And those kids are going to have those opportunities. They're going to have to have people that code those machines to do the automation. Everything's being automated now, and it's not just that. It's not just that everyone's going to become an engineer. It's that most jobs are going to require some proficiency, some understanding of the way the technology works, even if you're not an engineer. And then you have the interesting things like the seventh most requested job um, job skill on LinkedIn is Unity development. So you end up having these jobs popping up in places that, like a decade ago, 20 years ago, can you imagine a decade ago, seventh most popular job? On LinkedIn is is, is 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 Unity. I mean, it's unbelievable. Where is it going to go? Well, if you're not preparing your kid, what's it going to be a decade from now? They're not going to be prepared for it. So where can people find more information about your, your games and Endless in general? So if you go to EndlessNetwork.com, it has a summary of all the different games we're involved in. If you are uh, you got younger kids, go to Terminal2.com. If you've got older kids, go to uh, TheEndlessMission.com.